What's up, YouTube, or for my Japanese speaking friends, Kimiwa Tube. Thanks again for joining My Block's Strongest Man. And today I wanted to start a new series, which is my favorite YouTube channels. And the、uh, lucky winner for today, actually, I'm lucky to be able to watch his channel and see all the awesome content that he puts out there is Big Laws Official, Lawrence Chale, one of the great strong men of all time and of recent times. And I think if I understand, His channel correctly, he's stepped away at least for now due to、uh, some injuries and maybe like not wanting to pursue it as strongly as before. But he's transitioned into a really awesome YouTube page. So, why do I like his YouTube channel so much? Well, one is the interviews he does. So, he's interviewing everybody else I like, like Colin Bryce, for example, one of the head referees for quite a number of years on World's Strongest Man, who was involved in. The、uh, controversy in 2017, Viking Press. If you, if you weren't aware, go look that one up. It's an interesting story. And so you'll see if I pop up on the screen for you some of his other videos, some of his other interviews that he does, they're all amazing legends of the sport or related disciplines. Jeff Capes was one of them,、uh, one of the original legendary strongmen、uh, in history. He did another interview with. Who many consider to be kind of the strongest candidate to win the next World's Strongest Man, Mateusz k i l i u s k o w s k i He's done interviews with Luke Stoltman, which was super interesting, where he talks about kind of supporting his brother, who has become really a figurative and literal giant of the sport, Tom Stoltman. He's also interviewed all of the other biggest names Jerry Pritchett, Terry Hollins. He had one with Nick Best that I really loved.、Um, I'm gonna go find if Nick Best has a YouTube channel as well, because I want to promote him as well. Awesome. Like, you know, in his early 50s, they consider him like the old man of strongman, and he's, he's just accomplishing things that are incredible、um, in keeping up with the younger guys. So, in addition to all these great informative interviews that Big Laws is doing, where he, he doesn't cover the superficial stuff that you usually、um, expect from a sports athlete, like, You know, the numbers or the successes that they've、uh, accomplished, but he goes into the challenges as well. So he talks about some of the behind the scenes stuff in World's Strongest Man that you may not have known were going on and his perspective on that. And the coolest thing about him that I really like is he tells it as it is, honestly, but from a point of compassion. Like he doesn't stir the pot or say things just to. Uh, you know, just to get views or get attention. He's, but he doesn't hide from the truth either. So he's,、uh, he's a very respectful, very compassionate man. And、um, honestly, you usually expect famous or really successful people in their disciplines to never give you the time of day. I put in a really positive comment on his channel about how much I enjoyed the video, and he responded to me same day. It was, it was so cool. Like, I've never had, again, either a celebrity or somebody. Very successful in their discipline, whether or not they're famous, kind of take the time like that. So, I wanted to pay it back. And of course, I don't have the kind of following he does yet, but I wanted to do my small part to jump in and tell you not only how great his content is, but how、um, high of a caliber of a man he seems to be. So, if you haven't watched all of the accomplishments of Lawrence Chalet, better known as Big Laz, over the years in World's Strongest Man or in、uh, Britain's Strongest Man competitions, there's a Wikipedia page that tells you all about it. So, let me pop that up on the screen for you now. And let's walk through quickly some of his early life and some of his accomplishments, which you're really going to、um, use to have a whole new respect for this guy and to drive you over to his channel to see all. All of this awesome content, whether it be interviews or whether it be other kinds of videos that he does as well. So, beyond the interviews, he's doing a lot of really cool historical stuff. Like, what is the rundown of the tallest strongman in history? Like, where does Brian Shaw rank in that tallest、um, 
strong men in history or he has another one where he goes through the winners of world's strongest man from beginning to now year by year and kind of what all their different strengths and weaknesses were so like he does all this documentary style historical type stuff in addition to the interviews and in addition to what he did in his earlier youtube career which seems to be about three years ago which was kind of watching his workouts and watching him progress in the gym um i find two parallels uh, between this channel and two other ones that I like that I'll do episodes like this about in the future. But for the moment, let's let's pop that up on the screen, his Wikipedia page, and go through some of the history about Lawrence Chalet so you can get to appreciate him and what he's providing as much as I do. So Chalet was born in Gloucestershire, the son of an Iranian father and an English mother from Newcastle. He started Strongman in 2005 and entered his first novice competition that year, where he finished 8th. Within two years, he entered his first Britain's Strongest Man, having won the Midlands Qualifier. In that competition, he made a huge impact, making it to the final, only to tear his biceps and the tire flip, which forced him to withdraw. He won the Midlands Qualifier again in 2008 and once again made the final, this time finishing 4th behind Jimmy Marcou, Terry Hollins, and Mark Felix. This placing landed him an invite to the World's Strongest Man in 2008. He did not make the final. In 2009, four years, late, four years after beginning Strongman, he became the UKSC Midland's Strongest Man and also won the UKSC England's Strongest Man, citing this along his World's Strongest Man 2008 squat win as the greatest moment of his career. The World's Strongest Man qualifier titled England's Strongest Man, which replaced the Britain's Strongest Man contest in 09, was won by Terry Hollins, and Chalet did not compete in that one. His favorite Strongman event is the Farmer's Walk because it is a good test of natural strength, whereas his least favorite Strongman event is the Atlas Stones. I want to watch his, uh, his channel a little more to see if he would agree with this characterization on Wikipedia, but that's what it says. Uh, he says he admires Bill Kazmaier and Vasil Vierstuk for their intensity and belief in themselves. And I've seen him mentioned uh, Vierstuk several times on his channel, so I'll, I'll vouch for that one. And these are qualities he seeks to emulate, and he believes the greatest strength athlete of all time is Zdrunas Zaviskas, which most people would agree with. So that's a little bit about the history and kind of the thought process of Lauren Chalet, Big Laws, and why I feel he's super interesting. He's been super competitive throughout his career in World's Strongest Man. I think fourth was his best placing. So if we pop up that Wikipedia page one more time, we can see some of his placings, which are equally impressive. Let's take a look. So his best World's Strongest Man looks like 2011, where he was fourth in the World's Strongest Man, which is much better than anybody else I know. So a great accomplishment there. And then Britain's Strongest Man, he's is littered with first, second, and third place finishes uh, between 2007 and 2016, it looks like. He was in the Strongman Super Series, three times placing third there. And in the Giants Live event, placed first twice there. So you can see if you go to this wikipedia page his accomplishments are as long as my arm and if you check out google you'll see he has his fair share of world records yes world records plural as eddie hall would say gather round children let's talk about the records of the world <laughs> so i'm looking at google right now he has records for carrying cars i mean so for for all of us kind of normal people and my block's strongest man, a little bit above normal people. That's crazy talk. Like, I've pushed cars before, but lifting them up and walking with them, it's insane. He's got a yoke carry world record for 580 kilos. So, for those of you that aren't aware, a yoke kind of goes across your back and down and holds weights. It's like a large steel frame, typically. Brian Shaw's really good at this sort of thing as well. So, 580 kilos, let's try to do that math in our head. So, it's times 2.2. .2. So 580 times 2 would be 1160 plus 116 would be 1,276 pounds across his back, walking for, the record says, 15 meters. So that's what, 50 feet, something like that? So insane, insane 
record-breaking, world's strongest man accomplishment stuff from Lauren Chalet. If you haven't seen video of him competing, please, please go check it out. And the other interesting thing I wanted to mention is, as I said, his father's of Iranian descent. And I also watch another channel called Valuetainment, where Patrick Bet David, who runs that channel, um, and sort of a business empire, he has Iranian descent in his family too. So I wonder if there's something just really interesting from that part of the world to me. Like, I'm just drawn to the information, the stories of uh, folks from Iranian descent. Who knows? Well, just to recap... I wanted to let you know that I'm starting this new series on my favorite YouTube channels and I wanted to make sure to begin with Big Laws Official, the channel of strongman Lauren Chalet because I like it that much. I think he's a great guy. I think he brings a unique, straightforward approach where he'll tell you his accomplishments and that if he had it his way during his prime and could pick five specific events he could beat everybody else at those five events because he's the best in the world at them like farmers walk for example but he's also showing the quote-unquote darker side of the sport or the things that don't go right or the injury side and he's not afraid to honestly talk about those as well while remaining compassionate uh, to all of his interviewees so if you haven't yet during the duration of this video right now jump on subscribe to big laws official because my block strongest man told you so otherwise i'll come for you and until next time ciao homie